Part 26 in my Chosen One series, Crystals. Now listen, Chosen One. I'm telling you about this here, but before I even begin to talk to you about no crystal, I have to tell you that you are the most powerful crystal that you have on. Now you can lay up there and get caught up into the crystal family collection and take you about 50 lifetimes because you was a crystal god or the crystal goddess if you want to. That's you being in the entanglement of your person and your mind and your brain. You are not the body, chosen one. These are just tools that you can use and finesse with while or until you're becoming the state of being. Until you become back to that I amness. <laughs> until you until you get out of that person. Until you burst through that crown chakra. You hear me? Tell me you hear me in the comment. Okay. So I'm only going to really share with you the gangster ones for me in my journey. You might have other gangster ones. But for me, wholeheartedly, hands down, Amethyst. Amethyst was the first one that I was drawn to, or it found me, on Canal Street in New Orleans, Louisiana. A man had one on his neck, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? I want that. That man was selling little bracelets and stuff, but he, you know, had an Amethyst on his neck. He was like, oh, you can't have this, but they got a store right there, down the way. I was on a date, chosen one. <laughs> I had my date go down there. I had heels on. Stilettos, to be exact. Walking downtown New Orleans to go find this here crystal because it, 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 it called me. I put it underneath my pillow when I got home. My date bought that. I put it underneath my pillow when I got home. I had the most perfect peace, perfect sleep. That The next day, I got up and everybody in the family, we all went down to the crystal store. I was like, y'all got to gotta get y'all something. You got to get what I got, but oh my God. So here go my gangster ones, Amethyst, of course. Amethyst, the royal priesthood. The beautiful thing about this here is because, the be the beautiful thing about this here one is, I like it because of, it, it, it puts you, the beautiful thing that I like about this one here is, 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 is bare, the most profound thing that I like about this is the fact that it gets your first eye in alignment sound sleep, mental clarity. It, it has everything to do with the mind, you know, higher consciousness, crown chakra energy, like, right? Clear quartz, clear quartz, anything clear, any crystal that's clear, that's going to be, that's going to be really, really beneficial because in the beginning, before you get to the I am state of being, you're going to have to figure out how to clear energy of the people that's going to be around you, the people that's going to be trying to drain you, the people that's trying to, you know, ask you certain things and maybe you got the multitude for for example like right like the christ conscious when you got the multitude and all of the multitudes want readings or all of the multitudes want you to see and tell them and give them a message from the divine kind of like right you need to learn how to clear that energy with something outside of you first but in in the videos to come we get into the i am this we still in a little bit in the person right now but there's a moment that you're gonna have to put the crystal down chosen one because you are the crystal like come on now it's like this here kind of like training wheels. Not to step on nobody's toes now. Come on. But you are not the person. I got to tell you, you the I am. All right? So here we go. Amethyst was my first baby. When healing and, and blessing and, and doing tarot and all of these different things, when your energy is around other people, or even when people come into your house, you know, come on them news and say, oh, keep my door shut, don't let anybody in my house. Like, right? That's purposeful because people be leaving their energy behind. You want to be able to clear that. And when you're clearing, whether you're clearing with sage, whether you're clearing with with um, with uh, with clear quartz, you want to start at the bottom. <sighs> Get up out of here. You re you're releasing it. You ain't you ain't trying to summon it to come in you. You start at the bottom. Get your butt out, <sighs> and you release it up there, bottom to the top. The next one, I, which I gave away, I have some small ones up in here, but it's gonna be pink, pink for the heart, like right rose. I have some um, small pink ones up in here, but I, but baby, when you open up that heart, boy, you like, mm, nah, play, I don't need this no more. So I, I went ahead and donated that, you know, my act of service to mankind. I don't have no more pinks no more because my heart open, wide open. All right. So I said, these are my, this is my gang gang. Yeah, I have Jasper. I mean, Jasper. I have Tiger's Eye. I got the, you know, all all that. I got all of them. This is just a little bit of them that I just had right here. But my gangster ones is going to be amethyst for spirituality, clear quartz for clearing that energy, pink 
for that heart chakra. And last but not least, baby, this gonna be that new might for the gods. All right? This one here, this black one. Obsidian is, is cool too. This here, black new might sends you back to that darkness that was over there so they did big clears. Bring you back to the periods of thought. Like, right? This is the energy that I got from them. So this is why I'm talking about the gangster ones for me. Now, they might have some other gangster ones for you, but this is what I discovered. And this was part of the unfoldment of me getting to know myself. Just like how I taught you about herbs and stuff, um, as it pertains to eating right for your blood type, that's necessary. That's necessary because like, ooh, you eat that because you at low frequency, like, right? You trying to bring them cells alive, like, right? Them cells, if they had the low frequency and all they didn't have was inflammation versus inflammation, they hungry for herbs for your blood type and this different thing. But then when you get in alignment with your health and wellness, you're like, man, should I live by bread alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can circle back. I understand it's a mindfulness thing. Like, right? It's no different with the crystals. Wait, wait. I, I, oh, God, I'm so drained. Let me give me a clear course. Oh, I need money. Let me get, you know, and you gather up all these crystals. And then when you, you know, I'm the most powerful crystal I could ever own. You know, we just, we just riding, we riding on a bike with the training wheel chosen one. But then we get to a place in our journey where we realize them training wheels up in the air. And we still pedaling, and we look back at mom and daddy about, them, about five houses back, and they just smiling, talking about, look at my baby. And then you realize you're on that bike that you've been doing it all by yourself, and you still getting it. Now you don't need mama and daddy, a.k.a. crystals, a.k.a. certain foods, because you are the I am. you evolving, like, right? And ultimately, as I bring you on this here journey, what we're doing here is we, 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 who? Ooh, we taking off this avatar, too. We, we, we coming out. Of the person chosen one. Ah, uh, coming. Uh, oh, I want the world to know. I got to let it show. Okay, you got that?